It's January. These are the flower and herb seeds that you need to start right now. As winter relinquishes its grasp, the anticipation of a vibrant garden begins to blossom in every gardener's heart. In this comprehensive guide, we're not just exploring the usual suspects. We're delving into the world of cool season warriors, the slow yet spectacular bloomers, and the aromatic herbs that add a dash of flavor to your garden. So buckle up your gardening boots and let's sow the seeds for a garden that's not just a space, but a living work of art. First to the flowers. Lysianthus are the divas of slow bloomers. Lysianthus require patience, but reward it with exquisite rose-like blooms. Start seeds indoors 14 to 16 weeks before the last frost. And when they finally grace your garden, it'll be a performance worth the wait. Lysianthus are annuals. Hollyhocks are the towering storytellers that need a grand 12 to 14 weeks indoors before venturing into the garden. These majestic beauties will add a touch of old world charm reaching for the sky in your outdoor haven. Now they're biennials or short-lived perennials, but one thing that I love about them is that the seeds are really easy to harvest and store. So you can buy one pack of hollyhock seeds and you'll never need to buy another pack. Now they will readily reseed. So if you don't want them to reseed, just cut down the stalks after they're done flowering and dispose of them. Or if you wanted to try to grow these out to sell for your business, you can harvest the seeds and then plant them this time of year and you'll have plants to sell this summer. Foxgloves need 10 to 12 weeks indoors before venturing into the garden. These regal spikes will steal the spotlight, so give them the space that they deserve. They are also biennials or short-lived perennials, but one word of caution, they can be toxic if ingested, so you want to keep them away from small children or any pets that might chew them. If you want to learn more, about the most poisonous plants, check out my videos on the deadliest plants on earth and dangerous beauty. I'll leave links for them at the end of the video. Echinacea is an herbal showstopper that demands 10 to 12 weeks indoors before it graces your garden. Known for its distinctive cone-shaped blooms, Echinacea adds a touch of wild beauty and herbal charm to your outdoor space. Now, Echinacea is a perennial, but it's a perennial that doesn't always bloom the first year. You have the best chance of getting those blooms this year if you start the seeds now. Snapdragons are botanical performers that demand a backstage warm-up of 8 to 10 weeks indoors. Plant them outdoors ahead of the last frost and they'll stand tall, ready to grace your garden with whimsical flowers. You can almost imagine them gossiping with the next plant that's on our list, which are pansies, about the drama of garden. Now snapdragons don't take that long to germinate or to be ready to plant outdoors, but they don't do well in the heat. So by starting them now, you'll be able to plant them into your garden and get a full flush of blooms before the heat sets in, which usually stops them from performing. Pansies are cheeky charmers in the flower bed and they need a modest six to eight weeks indoors before facing the great outdoors. Transplant them before the last frost and watch these resilient blossoms thrive in their early spring chill. They are also biennials or short-lived perennials. Dianthus or pinks are like the trendsetters of the flower world. Sow the seeds indoors 8 to 10 weeks before the last frost and then let them flaunt their vibrant colors outdoors, adding a clove scented touch to your garden. If you'd like to sell these, you need to get them started now. The good news is that they are also perennials that you can enjoy from year to year. Next on our list is the beautiful lavender, which is a beautiful flower and also a fragrant herb. Lavender, a fragrant beauty, demands 10 to 12 weeks indoors before gracing your garden with its calming aroma. With its elegant spikes of purple flowers, it adds a touch of serenity to your outdoor haven. There are both annual and perennial types of lavender depending on the zone that you live in, so when you're selecting your seeds, you may want to consider getting a perennial version that will come back from year to year. 
Rosemary is in the same family as lavender, and it is an aromatic evergreen that also prefers a cozy 10 to 12 weeks indoors before gracing your garden. With its fragrant, needle-like leaves, it adds a savory note to your culinary exploits. Rosemary is also a perennial. Type takes a long time. This versatile herb is a slow grower that requires 8 to 10 weeks indoors before moving out into your garden. Its delicate leaves add a fragrant touch to both savory and sweet dishes, and it also gets really pretty flowers. It is also a perennial. Peppermint is an invigorating herb that likes a moderate 10 to 12 weeks indoors before stepping out. With its refreshing flavor, it's not just a treat for your taste buds, but a charming addition to your garden. Now, peppermint is a perennial that can become invasive and aggressive, so you definitely want to grow this one in a pot. And if you want to learn more about the most dangerous plants, plant store aggressive and invasive, you can check out my series. I'll leave a link for that. Chives are the mild onion flavored herbs that are patient growers requiring 8 to 10 weeks indoors before joining your outdoor culinary ensemble. The slender green shoots are a delightful garnish for various dishes. It is a perennial and I always look forward to seeing their cute purple flowers in the spring. Sage is an aromatic wonder that prefers a cozy 8 to 10 weeks indoors before making its outdoor debut. With its velvety leaves, it adds a savory depth to your culinary creations. Sage is a perennial. Parsley is a versatile green that is a slow grower. It requires 8 to 10 weeks indoors before joining your outdoor culinary ensemble. Both the curly and flat leaves are classic additions to various dishes. Now, parsley is a biennial, so technically it won't reach maturity for two years, but you can harvest the leaves this year. In fact, the second year it will start to produce flowers, and after the flowers are produced, the leaves aren't as tasty. In the grand symphony of gardening, we've orchestrated a crescendo of blooms and scents, each plant playing its unique role in the seasonal overture. From the patient performers that take their time to reach full glory, to the spirited early risers that can't wait to burst onto the stage, your garden is destined to be a masterpiece. So as you embark on this horticultural journey, let the anticipation build, the excitement bloom, and your outdoor oasis become a living canvas painted with the colors of nature's artistic expression. My seed and propagation station video is coming out soon, so don't forget to subscribe. And tell me in the comments, which seeds are you most excited to sow? Happy sowing and happy growing. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day.